Hey, I'm Jason Stilger. I'm an oil and gas expert with the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy. Have you ever seen something that looks like this? Or like this? This is a drill rig, and that is a pump jack. These are used in oil and gas drilling operations, which started in Michigan in 1886. There are a ton of active wells here in Michigan. In fact, there are 4,500 oil wells, 11,000 natural gas wells, and 3,000 gas storage wells, the most underground storage in the country. The first oil boom in Michigan happened in Saginaw, Michigan in 1925. Within two years, the area had 300 oil wells drilled, and a couple of those wells still produce oil today. This prompted the state of Michigan to develop its first environmental law to regulate oil and gas production. That law is now known as Part 615 of NARIPA, also known as the Natural Resources and Environmental Protection Act. It created the position of supervisor of wells, which is responsible for conserving oil and gas and preventing environmental pollution. Today, that position is filled by the director of the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, and is supported by people like me from the Oil, Gas and Minerals Division. Our department reviews and issues permits for all oil and gas activities and maintains the records. We also oversee the drilling process, including completion and plugging of wells. This is a very complex process that requires the help of experts in geology, physics, engineering, and chemistry. To learn more about oil and gas and the regulations surrounding them, visit our website. Thanks for watching.